So we'll open our studio and I have attached the USB devices that I used in Linux to create my RAID 5 array and I'm not seeing them so that so I'll hit refresh and they should pop up So what we want to do first is, since these are not formatted in Windows, we do not want to format them now because that will ruin our array. So 2, 3, and 4. Let's see, I would click Create Virtual RAID and Auto Detect in the empty space here we right click and then add each disk one by one and we want to click not the not the drive letter but the actual disk itself we'll do that one at a time and as you add one it disappears from your order there's the auto detect feature here, but we'll not. We're not going to use that. We know it's a RAID five, and standard left synchronous. We'll leave it there. And the default on Linux is 512. So, you know, perhaps somebody has changed that if they when they've created a RAID, but I know that it's. 512, so we're just going to go straight to that. And I am certain that this is the right order. So it's a sh we're just going to create the RAID. Uh, we want to apply changes. Always click that. So as we make, if it's not right and we make changes, it will apply the change immediately. So when we go to redo a scan, the scan will. will scan the changes and not previous um, previous orders. So we want to right click, scan, and notice here, even though it's three eight gigabyte drives, it's showing up as a RAID that has two thirds of the that size. And we want to go to known file types. I know that there's JPEGs on here and one text file, so we're just gonna, you know, and anytime you're doing large amounts of data, even though this is so small, uh, the easiest thing to search for would be graphics. So you just click on graphics and search for those, and I'll show you why. Because as we scan, instead of waiting for hours and hours and hours or days depending on how big of a raid you're 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 trying to find data on you just wait you just start the scan and you wait you see how many documents is it documents the scan finds and then so we've only been going for you know a couple seconds and if we're doing, uh, you know, other tutorials I've seen on our studio, you want to wait until you have hundreds of files. But I know that there's not hundreds of files on this, so we don't need to do that. We'll examine what we have found. So somehow our order was off. We need to, we have the text file, but it's not what we want. And then the JPEGs, it's showing, it has the data, 
that it's not showing me the name and it's not giving me the what I want. So we want to reorder this. So we're going to put this one up one. We're going to remove that previous scan. So now we're two, four, three. And we're going to leave everything else the same. And then we're going to right click again on Virtual Block Raid. Scan. Known file types. Clear all. Graphics. And one document. Is it what's on there? OK. Seems like it's not going to be giving me what I want. Yeah. So this is definitely not what I'm wanting. So let's try again. Remove three completely. Nah, yeah, let's remove three. Move four up. Let's add a missing missing disk. I'm gonna put the missing disk right at the top. And now let's scan. Alright, so notice there's no red recognized zero. Alright, and there we have it. We found them. So, now that we know the order, number three, she went three, four, two, so really you can just remove this and then add number three move that move up move up and then that's the order of the raid 